Nothing's more exciting than going fast on a big V-twin. Trust me. But stopping safely is just as important. Today, we put a vengeance indicator through some tough braking te tests to make sure that these bikes are as safe as they are cold. Here at Carco, we uh, perform automotive safety and research testing for a variety of uh, manufacturers and types of vehicles, automobiles, trucks, buses, motorhomes, and motorcycles. Primarily, we do crash testing. And today, we're going to be doing some brake testing for Vengeance motorcycles so that they can distribute these motorcycles in Canada. We're going to be doing some 30 mile an hour testing and 60 mile an hour testing using full brake system and one braking system, front end rear. Checking stopping distance, pedal forces, and uh, deceleration rate. A lot of people think that there's problems with the big bikes that are harder to handle and harder to stop with, but most bikes are all the same. I have a lot of equipment on the bike. Uh, there's lever for force and load cells, pedal force load cells, temperature indicators for the brake pads, speed readouts and deceleration readouts. We're going to record all those items and make sure they fall in the parameters of the uh, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard. Adapting this high-tech gear to fit on board a motorcycle is very tricky because of the added vibrations and lack of space. These bikes are very fast and big, and it's fun to ride them, but the most important thing is that they're able to stop. I'll know today, based on what I see here and collecting the data, whether or not the bike will pass. It was a good stop, 30 miles an hour. A 60 mile an hour stop, very good. Under 150 feet, good stop. The final results of the 30 mile per hour test were 41.1 feet at a maximum braking power on both the front and rear brakes, just short of skidding. At 60 miles per hour, the, the bike took 165.6 feet to come to a complete stop. Again, at a maximum braking power on both the front and rear rear brakes. Better than the 50s. I saw that pass by 50 feet. Based on today's stopping performance, this is the bike did very well. It, it has dual front disc brakes, uh, single disc rear brakes. According to our test, these bikes will be available for distribution in Canada.